can folks expect to see at the event? So there's going to be lots of uh, fun things to do. So we have El Coqui Restaurant, which will be our on-site vendor. We do, do have the Three Kings, which you actually see a representation of here. They will be uh, showing up in person. So there will be a photo up, and families can come and take pictures with them. We will have uh, different arts and crafts that children can take part in. We have um, even the paper crowns that we're wearing right now. We'll be able to have those available for kiddos to wear. And then, of course, we'll have food, live music. Music, dancing. So a lot of food vendors, as you just mentioned, right? And so the what, what are some, what are we looking at here on the table? This is what, really, what, what's he digging into? This is really yeah, good. So he's eating bread need, which for us is pork. And then we also have arroz con gandules, which mm -hmm. is rice with pigeon peas. We have a little bit of everything. El Coqui Restaurant will be our on-site vendor. Mm -hmm. They're the only cost to the event. So otherwise, admission is free thanks to HEB sponsoring us. And But if you would like to try out the Puerto Rican food there on site, El Coqui will have all of this available. And then what is is this right here? I've never seen anything like that. So. Yeah, so that one's a, a special treat. That's a chicharron with guacamole. So mm. just pick it up and eat it like this? Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh wow. oh, wow. There's a lot oh, in there. There's a lot in there, yeah. So. Uh, you're on your own on that I know, one. Okay. I know. <laughs> right. And of course, you've got plantains, right? Yes. And then what's in this bowl here in front? So that is a pork stew. We also mm -hmm. have pasteles, which is our version of a tamale. Mm -hmm. um, it's made with a yucca plant and wrapped in tree leaves. It's very big for us during the Christmas season. Where has this been all my life? <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Are you happy? Okay, oh my gosh. Busy. Okay. Mm. Nice. And then right here in the center? So right there in the center is bacalaitos, which is uh, basically like fried codfish. Okay. And, and then this is an empanadilla de carne. Okay. And is it just beef? Is it? These are, I believe so. Well, I'll find out in a second. I'll let you know. <laughs> and, yeah. okay. and once again, to, to point out, this is free and this is open to anybody, right? Absolutely. So you don't have to be Puerto Rican or even Latino to come. We welcome all of San Antonio. For us, it's the first time since 2020 that we've been able to host the event publicly because of the pandemic. So we're really excited to get back into the community. Again, free admission. So we invite families to come out, kids to come out, and just enjoy themselves from noon to four. And can't forget about dessert mm -hmm. here either. Yes. So what are these? So these are puff pastry. Uh, the the square one has uh, uh, guava in it, and then mm. the back one has uh, cream cheese filling. Oh goodness gracious! So, yeah, so, you, so yes. you can get a little bit of everything at the festival. And once again, the, of course, the Epiphany is on the sixth, mm -hmm. but this is taking place on the seventh on Sunday, on and right downtown here, just down the street, basically from uh, San Fernando Cathedral, right? Yes. Absolutely. And if kids, um, you know, if parents bring mm -hmm. their kids, we will have the opportunity for them to be a part of um, uh, like a um, like a pageant, a um, reimagining oh, of the Three Kings. Oh, the Three Kings yeah. story. Meeting, meeting the Okay, well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. All right. For more information on Three Kings Day celebration, just head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link or just scan that QR code on your screen. Stick around because I chat with a star from the iconic and long beloved soap opera General Hospital about their big anniversary and wait till you hear how he made a childhood dream come true by being cast on the show. This is a great song. All right, what song pumps you up for a workout? See ya, Unstoppable from On Hell. Thank you. And let's get physical because of the video. <laughs> I agree with that one. <laughs> Keep them coming, scan that QR code. for ABC's Emmy Award-winning daytime drama, General Hospital, as they celebrate their 60th anniversary with a primetime special. And joining me now to talk about this special event is cast member Donnell Turner, who pays Curtis Ashford. Hey there. Hey, hey, how you doing? Doing well. 60 years on the show, for the show. Yes. Can you believe it? <laughs> I cannot believe it. That's a long time to uh, write scripts and tell good stories. And of course, such an incredible fan following. And you yourself have been a fan of the show since you were a kid, right? Yes, in fact, I would watch the show with my grandmother and uh, mom was at work and I'd be right there at grandma's side and she'd have to watch her stories and uh, she would have me and my brother right there with her and uh, when we weren't in school. And we would look at our watch and we would go inside at 1.50 because at two o'clock, General Hospital came on. Oh yes, back when you know people made appointments, right? To watch those shows, yeah. right? It was and how cool TV. to be on the show 
later on? It's pretty serendipitous. Um, and, and, and actually to say that is almost disingenuous because um, I used to write the show years ago to be on it. And uh, I lived in Sacramento and, um, you know, before all the gray hairs, people would say, you know, you look like you should be on a soap opera. <laughs> and that's a, sort of a random thing to hear when you don't live in L.A. And uh, I heard it a lot. So um, I took it as an opportunity to write the only soap opera I ever watched and say, you know, well, I'm an actor, or aspiring actor. And people tell me I look like I should be in soap. So uh, I love your show. How does this work? Of course, it didn't work like that, but, but you I warmed eventually... down. <laughs> yeah, I did. I warmed down. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, that is so incredibly cool. So let's get back to the special. What can fans expect from the special? Oh my goodness. Well, the special is um, masterfully done, and it was just a great time to see all of the cast in one place. Everybody uh, looking great, telling a great story about the history and their experience on on General Hospital. And I just think, um, you know, when we're filming it, it's it's put together, it's 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 um, in pieces. So I cannot wait to see the final product because uh, it looked exciting. It was fun doing it. I got to work with Chandra Wilson again. Uh, I love her. She's so much fun. She's so beautiful. Everyone looked great. It was probably all that letter writing you did as a kid. <laughs> I'm sure they still have them somewhere. <laughs> yes. Oh, so your honor daughter is San Antonio native, Tabiana Ali, who plays Trina. Yeah. She's been on the show and we love her. Tell us about working yes. with her. You know, my heart, uh, she's my spirit person. <laughs> I mean, she reminds me of what it's like to be 21 and that youthful exuberance is 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 uh, infectious and um, I just love her to pieces and she's a welcome addition to the show uh, and real quickly before we go we've all seen these moments on the show but I have to ask what are the actors thinking during those dramatic pauses when a scene ends it's just focused on their face <laughs> Don't blink. No, um, we're thinking, you know, you want to have something behind your eyes. So there's an actor's trick. Uh, one of them is, um, did I leave my oven on? And that gives you a little something behind the eyes. It's an actor's trick. You heard it from me. Got it. Did I leave my oven on? Leave my something oven like on? that, right? Okay. Yeah, next time you're listening to someone, think that, and it'll do something to your eyes and your face. Thank you for that. And happy early birthday. Birthday coming up. Any special plans? Uh, you know, I'm going to process being this age. <laughs> no, I just moved. I just got a new house. And so um, the fun comes from decorating and, and, and putting together all my exciting ideas. So oh, half a century now, you know, it's been Christmas and then a week later, New Year's and then a week later, Donnell's birthday. So I am grateful, eternally grateful for yet another trip around the sun. Donnell Turner, thank you so much. Hey. And you can see General Hospital 60 Years of Star and storytelling airing tonight at 9 p.m. right here on KSAT 12 and tomorrow on Hulu. Yes! Okay. Yes, check this out. You'll love it. <laughs> General, for more information on General Hospital, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, or click on that QR code for more information. All right. Want some warm Italian food on a chilly day? Yes, please. David Elder takes us north of San Antonio to an authentic Italian spot on all kinds of best of lists. That's next on SA Live. The Children's Shelter offers a family services that helps to strengthen relationships between parents and their children. You'll build knowledge and create connections as a family and gain the support you need through the Children's Shelter Family Strengthening Programs. Discover the joy of being a family. Learn more at ksatcommunity.com. KSAT Community, in partnership with Energy Transfer, RBFCU, and University Health. to SA Live. It's National Spaghetti Day and there's a great Italian spot up north of San Antonio where you can celebrate. Oh, and that looks delicious. And David Eller from Texas East gives us a taste of some authentic Italian favorites at Gennaro's Trattoria in Canyon Lake.
joining me now is Armando Di Meo, and in front of us is just a wonderful spread of Italian food. I mean, this is like authentic Italian Absolutely. food. So my father, Gennaro, um, he was born and raised in, uh, in Napoli. Uh, it's the southern part of Italy, and uh, that's where the majority of these recipes originated from, coming from my grandma and her wood-fired kitchen, and, and now we've adapted and, and changed some things and made some things ourselves. Yeah. A full red snapper. Absolutely. I've never seen this dish presented like this in this way. So what's going on here on this dish? Okay, so we pan sear this first, and we uh, we finish it in a, in a pan broil, and the traditional way is always served whole. Okay. In Italy, we don't cut up the fish. It's always a whole fish. The shellfish that, that always accommodates the fish. It's the most traditional way. All of the dishes out here are traditional Italian dishes. Some of them have a little bit of a Texas twist to them, but you can get a whole red snapper delivered out to your table. The sauce that's on there, it just kind of like just goes deep down to the bone. So you're getting a full flavor of everything all in one bite. It's absolutely amazing on the presentation, but the flavor is even better. This is a half rabbit. This is our most traditional dish that we cook here. It's a very popular dish we have here. That's the bite right there. Wow. I didn't even know I liked rabbit. <laughs> How about that? It's very delicate. It's more tender than um, like a chicken or like another white meat. But I mean, it just kind of melts in your mouth. This looks like a stacked layer of delicious. Yeah, so this is the eggplant Anna Maria. It's actually stacked with layers of eggplant, prosciutto, spinach, sun-dried tomatoes, and uh, various cheeses, cheeses in, in between. Various mozzarella, cheeses. That's mozzarella, smoked go. provolone. Take a little piece off here, get a little bit of that action. My goodness. Here we go. That's my favorite bite so far. My favorite dish is the eggplant Anna Maria. This thing is crunchy, it's cheesy, it has all the different nuances that you like about Italian food, all in one beautifully stacked dish. It's the blending of everything. I think that's that old world style that your dad brings uh, to all these dishes. Absolutely, yeah. That is phenomenal. Uh, you got some meatballs off the side, but these are not your traditional meatballs, right? No, no. We do 100% buffalo meat. We put it in our uh, signature rosé sauce, top it with some tomatoes and spinach. Buffalo meatball. Here we go. Give it a bite. It's so juicy. Yeah, we pan broil it, so it's uh, it's it's in a small oven, and uh, it, a lot of the juices are actually able to stay. Right, kind of lock it in there. That is a phenomenal bite. Good little good little snap to it. So this is a uh, Monzo Portobello. We get a whole tenderloin, we cut it into medallions, pair it with uh, some shrimp, rigatoni, and our uh, lemon cream sauce. And look how tender that is. You know, like you don't even need the steak knife. This is a bite. <laughs> we we don't serve a steak knife. Wow, you don't need it. It just melts in your mouth. I love the little bit of sauce that's kind of like come over from the pasta. A little bit of the shrimp vibe kind of coming onto it as well. That is a really nice, well-rounded pipe. Super tender, and it's grilled nicely. You can see on the inside, it's a nice, medium-rare, medium finish, too. You do have pizzas. Uh, which one is this one right here? So this is a Tuscany pizza. It has an Alfredo base. We put uh, mozzarella, spinach, and fresh grilled chicken on top of the It's a slice of pizza, but it feels like you're doing something healthy. <laughs> this is a place to be. It's a wonderful venue in the back as well. There is a lot of indoor dining space at the restaurant, but if you want to stay outside, you want to socially distance, you can do that as well. It is a gorgeous view of the hills out here near Canyon Lake. Plus, if you have an event coming up, there's also a large venue that you can book. So this space is named the Villa di Campagna. We can fit uh, roughly 140 people here uh, between upstairs and downstairs. This upstairs area, it's a more elegant area. Downstairs, we have a nice wine cellar to create two different types of atmospheres. We put it together under three words that, that describe us the most, and that's family, friends, and memories. We root that deep into, into what we do here at both uh, Gennaro Strateria and Villa di Campagna. We hope to give that experience to everybody who walks in our doors. I love it. I'm coming back here. I'm bringing the family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, Red Snapper. Or I don't know which one. <laughs> I don't know which one to go to. 
Wow, we go from all that Italian to tomorrow on SA Live, mm -hmm. healthier meals that taste great. A local restaurant shows recipes for vegetarians and meat eaters that are fast, easy, and nutritious. special day today here on SA Live. Oh, happy birthday Come on, to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, dear Avery. Avery. Our producer trainee who has done an absolutely fantastic job Thank and you. has actually produced some of the shows all on her own and everything. Big fan of old comedy <gasps> movies. That's why she's yes. near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Cupcakes and Bird Bakery. We all actually made all, these and put it in this box. In. Yeah, so we all anyway. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, dear. Thank you.